Hello guys, Michael here. Today I'm reviewing this cheap food grade 12 volt DC electric pump I bought on Aliexpress. It can be used for a lot of different applications. I used it on my cocktail machine that I made with an Arduino, Mega and Alexa. Uh, you can see this video in my, of my Arduino cocktail maker here. So I use this pump because it's food graded and cheap. Uh, the pump costs around $4 on Aliexpress. It's driven by 12 volt direct current and drives a current of 0.5 to 0.7 amperage when working. It has a maximum suction capacity height of 2 meters. Like all pumps, it has an outlet and an inlet here. The inner diameter of the outlets are 6 millimeters and the outer diameter is 9 millimeters. Um, the outside diameter increases. So it's easy to put uh, tubes on it without clamps and it still doesn't leak. Uh, it has two electrical terminals, terminals where you can easily solder wires to. It has a flow rate of 1.5 to 2 liters uh, per minute, what we will test out in a moment. Uh, first, I would really advise to solder a capacitor between the two terminals. Uh, I already did it with another pump, so like this. Um, you should really do this because you can have problems with electronic equipment in the neighborhood of the pumps. I personally had issues with the flow meter in my project. Basically, the brushes touching the commutator creates electrical and high frequency noise that can interfere with other uh, equipment. I'm planning to make a video about this in the future, in the future demonstrating this. Uh, so to counter the interference, you should really solder uh, a one microfarad capacitator between the two terminals. There's also a really cheap solution. I bought a hundred of these capacitators on AliExpress for uh, around $1.20. And now we'll test the flow rate. I'm using a 12 volt 10 amperage power supply. You can also find it in the description if you want. As you can see, I connect the tubes without any clamps. Now we will connect the other tube. Um, I have 200 milliliters of liquid in this glass. We'll pump it to the, another glass, and normally it should take around six to eight seconds. Um, so I connect the terminals. Um, the inlet was the outer one, I thought, like this. And I will turn the pump on. One, two, So it works as advertised. Turn it off again. So it makes a lot of noise when no uh, liquid is pumping through it. You also um, should not turn it on too long without any liquid passing through it. It's not that good for the pump. So this concludes my review. You can find where I bought the pump on Aliexpress in the description. Uh, I bought around 20 of them from the same supplier and they are all working fine, so I'm happy with the results so far. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, uh, please like and subscribe. Till next video.